Daddy has been grinding day and night to brew around the new card, Foreskin Monument. Mostly so I can make that joke. Because, I mean, look at it. What else could it be? What does Foreskin Monument do, you ask? Well, it buffs our creatures by two, and it lets the lands make extra mana, and it gains us life. That's great and all, but it's certainly not great on turn five. At which point, the last two abilities wouldn't even matter. But if instead we manage to play it on turn two, then Foreskin Monument is really good. And after 45 hours of deck building, here's Daddy's newest creation. The plan is we turn one derp with either birds or blister pod, and then on turn two we plunge, for which we sacrifice a creature and make three mana, which means on turn two will have five mana, allowing us to play Foreskin Monument or Smasher. On turn two, it's pretty good. And with Eldrazi Temple, we could even turn two Sower. And as risky as Plunge is, at the moment, it does feel right for Eldrazi. Ironically, when Eldrazi first made their way into Modern, they felt crazy overpowered, like a thought not on turn three or even turn two. Five years ago, that was mind-blowing. But nowadays, there's Modern decks that win on turn two, so the standards are a bit different, and oftentimes Eldrazi are just too slow. So Plunge does help in that regard, and also works well alongside Obligator. Obligator lets us take control of our opponent's creature, which we can then sack to Plunge. Then we have Matter Reshaper, which also likes to sack. And and then there's the very powerful All is Dust. It makes players sacrifice colored permanents, so our creatures will be safe, and we can even ramp into it with Temple. And then there's Bolt, Stirrings, and Kessig. But now on the sideboard, we have Weenie Hate, Aggro Hate, Mill Hate, Disruption Hate, Fancy Lands Hate, Artifact Hate, Graveyard Hate, and our companion Juicy Gigantha. It's basically just a 5 5 or 8 mana. That is a deck. Now it's time to see the foreskin in action. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand, if we can get one more land, then we can play either on turn two, so we're gonna keep. Oh, and it's a Mill deck. Another plunge, play the pod, another crab, and maybe Mill us hard. Oh, nice. Sack. And now Smasher. But will it be enough? Let's find out. Oh, Field of Ruin. And an Ashiok. 35 cards left in deck. And Stirring is not bad. But let's do this. Obligator. And push all in at them. Oh, okay. Back to opponent. More milling. Oh. And an orb. Oh my god. Both of them. And they block it both. We'll then send it back. 13 cards left in deck. They play Visions. And an orb. But look at this. The power of the plunge. We did it. We're bringing this up for this up. Okay, good game too. Oh, we have guys blasting in hand. Gotta dump that. Ew. No. Oh my gosh. I don't Keep it. Oh, good. We pulled another bird. Oh, was a crab. Mama has a lot of those. And oh no, they fatal push our bird. Whatever shall we do? Oh, bolt nice. Mm, bolt. Mana has a field and hits our land. Archive trap. We pull temple, play blister, and put Jonathan in hand. They mills for eight. And Cinder Vine's not bad. But we'll swing for one. And then play the horse thing or whatever it is. I recognize it from two dudes, one horse. Full Surings, play it. We'll monument and smasher. We'll grab smasher and spank for 11. Oh, they gain a bunch of life. That's a lot of life. They mill us for eight. They activate shell lock, milling us down to zero, but we a blessing. <laughs> Ah, we're so evil. Play vines. Swing. We pull stirrings. Reshaper, fine. Spank. And play Reshaper. And they push it. And it draws us a bolt. And out of sheer humiliation, there is the concede. What a spanking. Now it's on to the next match. Opening a hand, two temples. That's pretty good. Soul key. Play blister. Oh, and it looks like it's red green ramp. If they have blood moon, we be in trouble. Swing for one. Play Reshaper. Oh, not red green moon. Epi white green Heliod with spike feeder. This might be tricky. Smasher. Swing. A jump. And then it's back to opponent. There be Heliod. But thanks to the power of math, unless they have path to exile, their cheeks shall be clapped. Obligator. Uh-oh. Will we see a path? Nope, there's a concede. I'm going into game two. Let's dump this for this one without screaming too. Opening hand, a lot of lands. So we'll mole. Ew. Mole. All right, fine, this works. Play the bird. I'll play mentor. And another smasher. Play your shaper. Oh, and there's spike feeder. That problem. This be very risky, but... Sacri shaper? Like a lightning bolt, please? A cavern? No. Fine, play smasher. And spank for five. I suppose we'll keep pushing in. They search for a creature. Getting Helio, which means next turn, our opponent's gonna gain an infinite life. Yeah, and there's a pass. We're going to game three. Going into game three. Let's bring back in one of these. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hands, okay, I guess. We'll keep. Play Sirings. Grabbing Smasher. On passes. And we'll go with Obligator. Oh, Damping Sphere. That is tricky. Alrighty. Spank for three. And opponent plays Heliod. Another Smasher. Put you in hand. And three at them. There's Spike Feeder. Up yours. Hooray. Did it gain some life with that? Swing for eight. Please, no more infinite stuff. No apparition. Which means unless they have path, they be in trouble. Nope, there's a concede. A bit of a tense win, but now it's on to the next match. Oh, Opening hand, I'm not feeling it. That's what she says. We're in a mole. Eh, yes. Oh, and it's bogles. Play blister and pass. On buffs and buffs. We'll chomp. Swing for one. Then sack and play reshaper. Oh, spirit dancer. And upon attacks, that's fine. Ew. We'll swing for three and play another one. All that glitters. Ease problem. We'll take it. And yeah, this is not gonna work. So we'll keep our deck a secret and go to game two. I'm going into game two. Let's dump this for this one. Let's go to game two. Opening hand's not terrible. So we'll keep. Play birds. Oh, look, that's bogles. Oh, nice. I sure love thoughts. Oh, but we have problem. Armor's good.
good. Of course, Spirit Dance was good. Empath is good. We gotta buy some time. So we'll take the armor and pass it back. Spirit Dancer, an opponent's passing. We shall smash and hit them for nine. Oh, his Umber and draws. And there's the path. But then opponent passes. And we also have a plunge. So how about this? Stirrings. Oh, and explosives. But not just yet. We'll instead play four skin and swing for seven. What? Another path? Oh, wait, what? I'm so confused. What happened? They just chose not to discard after all? All right. Opponent plays Daybreak. Gain some life. But they be screwed. Play thought. And another path? Sure. Because now this. <laughs> Bye. And then pass back. Opponent plays land and passes. We pull land. Swing. And now it's Gigant the time. Hooray. On a passes for Shaper. Swing for 11. And it looks like it's the end. Yep. So we'll have to settle things in game three. Going into game three. Let's bring in some bolts and with that. Let's go to game three. Opening hand. We have Cinder Vines. Although we are missing a green source. So we do have a turn two thought. So we'll keep. There's a scout. Oh, and a monument. Let's see how this goes. Someone plays Umbra. And then tickles us for two. Swing for one. And then sack. Turn two monument. And now it's back to opponent. Oh, life flank. Not fair. Hooray, you land. Play the thought. Oh, and two path to exiles. Fine. Take one of them. And a core spirit dancer. But no path this turn. And Cool, cool. Let's go stirrings and then take thought. Pull away the thought. Oh, and a rancor. The path's gotta go. Here comes rancor. Baby coming in chonky. Oh, but what do we do? Either on one or two. Two takes out spirit dancer. One takes out the umbras, but rancor goes back to hand. Maybe we should instead go cinder vines and then decide. Yeah, we'll do that and pass back. One plays rancor and another rancor. Oh my gosh. And what? They're swinging in. Oh, what about cinder vines? We can remove the first strike. So difficult, but we'll try a thought for the umbra this is such a tough decision here we kind of have to put the explosives on one take out here and here but spirit dance there's a problem i mean we could just put it on two and then go kill here then fire it then no that'll just get us in the end so it has to be on one okay so here's what we'll do stirrings oh my gosh all is dust if we can just survive one more turn can we pull it off i think we can yeah because that's two four six seven we just gotta untap okay explosives on one we gain two life and just please please don't try anything oh opponent attacks probably because they want the card draw yeah, pop here. And now they be drawn. More card draw. And they path our thought. So we might actually be in trouble. We gotta fire this. We'll lose the Cinder Vines. And they'll get back their Rancors. They have nine cards in hand. And we'll pass it back. And what? No creature? It could fetch a Dryad Arbor. So we really need to bolt here. Meh. Put Gigant in hand. Play it. And pass back. There be the Arbor. And a Spirit Dancer. Now I think we're in trouble. Yeah. 7-1. They swing. Uh, yeah, block. And if we can just pull a bolt here. We have four of them. Shoot. Never mind. They have Totem Armor. Oh my god gosh no way no no way if we had just drawn that one turn earlier victory would have been ours but at least it was a good match and now it's on to the next one opening hand no good lands so we're gonna mull and i guess we'll keep upon plays birds Ooh, and smasher we'll just play birds for now and why wow, it's like green white eldrazi okay you grab a sword oh look at that so play thought and they'd be having some land trouble but it could activate stoneforge next turn so we'll take batter skull and why wow, upon pulls path okay and they play the sword they'll most likely equip the sword next turn. Attack us until two here, so let's go stirrings. Ooh, all this is very good. All this dust, probably not, but thought's good. But so is monument. You know, I think we're just better off with the thought, so we'll play it. And they have a thought of their own. We'll take it away. Play another bird and pass back. Oh, they equip and attack us. Well, we don't want them drawing a card, so we'll chump. And a smasher, okay. Play smasher, swing for nine. They chump, and we'll pass it back. And once again, they're attacking, we'll chump again. What shall our opponent do? Hex drinker, sure. They level up and pass back. Ooh, that very good. And we're so close to lethal. I think the kinkiest move? Play Obligator. And oh, they concede. It would've been really cool. We would've attacked and killed that. All right. So we're going to game two. No one in game two. We're going to dump this for this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, we have a temple. But everything else is balls. We're going to mull. Oh, and this is muy grande. Unless they have path. In which case, it's not muy grande. But we'll keep. Upon begins with Hex Drinker. And we'll begin with Blister Pod. Upon goes Ancient Stirrings. Grabbing Reshaper. Upon pumps Hex Drinker and passes. Do we go all in on the Smasher? Or just bolt this turn? Probably should take that hoe out. Swing for one. Play Burden pass back. Opponent levels up and responds to the third one. Bolt. Hooray. Now they probably have path, but we'll go for the plunge. Sack. Smasher. And swing for five. Ooh, no path for them. Oh, but they have a smasher of their own. Well, could always go Gigantha. So we'll swing for five. They block, okay. Put Gigantha in hand and pass back. One plays a reshaper and put Gigantha in their hand. Well, we'll sack the Scion and play Gigantha. What is these? Another reshaper. They don't attack. And man, we can't catch a break. Fine. We'll play the birds and pass back. They play their Gigantha and oh, path to exile. That's not nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, fine. They have us. We're going to game three. Go one in game three. We're going to bring back in Sower. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand. We have some stuff. But is this stuff enough stuff? We'll find out. Play the bird. On it passes. Oh, and a thought. All right, we'll go stirring. Grabbing a temple. But for now, we'll just pass back. What is these? Maybe passing back. Interesting. All right, play the thought. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. Well, that's a lot of ghost quarters. And after this path, we'll be down to one basic in deck. Yeah. Fun place stirrings. Grabbing a canopy. Okay. Clean noble. And we'll kill the noble. Another bolt. We'll go reshaper and put Gigantha in hand. Upon puts their Gigantha in hand. All right. Swing for three and play Gigantha. They play their Gigantha. Ghost stirrings. Oh my gosh. This is going to be super amazing. We just got to keep track of which one is ours. Obligator. Okay. Don't blink. Oh, it's, it's labeled. Okay. Because of legendary rule, we'll keep ours and sack theirs. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, back to opponent. Oh, opponent plays batter skull. What are we going to do? Have I'll just bolt and bolt. Yay. So we'll be on to the next match. Opening hand. Lands are terrible, so we're going to maul. And yeah, this could work. We'll keep. Oh, a vial. We can go sower next turn. But for now, stirrings. Ooh, and a monument. Play land and pass back. Oh, wow. Opponent passes. Very suspicious. But now we sack and play monument. Hooray. Back to opponent. Opponent plays giver. And we shall go thought. Oh, geez. Take apparition for sure. Even though one will take out the thought, though. There it is. We take three. And man, we're having some land trouble here. So reshaper and pass back. And now opponent's passing back. Oh my gosh, still no land. All right, here's what we'll do. Smasher, swing. And what our opponent could do, they could violin the flicker wisp and get rid of monument until end of turn. But no, they just look at the smasher. Okay. Opponent swings for three and they play a second vial. They do have one more flicker wisp in hand, so we must be careful. Oh well, swing for seven. Opponent does the same thing as before. And now so we're where are them lands at. Two fields, okay. We'll put Gigantha in hand and pass back. We take six in the air and opponent plays an Archon. Land meh. Well, let's push in. Oh, an apparition. At least our big dudes stick around. They jump with Athalia because they have more in hand. Play Gigantha and take out the draw land. Oh, but I'll get back to opponent. Uh-oh. Opponent has Maul. That ain't good. You go to four. And wait a minute. Can we be big brain here? Yeah. Obligator. Targeting giver. Give this hope protection from white. And then boom. Hooray. That was a close one. Going into game two. Let's dump this for this. And without, let's go to game two. Opening hand. Very late game heavy. So we'll have to Maul. And yeah, this could work. We'll keep. One plays Vile. And we'll play land and pass. And why wow, opponent passes. Very suspicious. Oh, but I can play Reshaper. And pass back. One plays field. Taking out our land. And then they're passing. Oh, path of exile. And we're out of basics. Ooh. But now we'll pass back. Oh, another one. Fine. One plays Archon. Nope. Well, thought, but no lands for it. So we'll just put Gigantha in hand. Another thought. Pass back. One plays Thalia. Oh my gosh. We take two. One plays Mystic. And how about we put ourselves out of our misery and go to game three? I'm tired of these fields and ghost quarters. So I'll bring in one blood sun. With that, let's go to game three. Opening hand. Not great. That's fine. We'll keep. Start with the bird. One plays Giver. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Make three mana. And now four skin. One plays Arbor. And we pull Stirring. So play Stirring. Oh, many good options. All of Dust is pretty good. So probably just take the All of Dust. So you got the in hand and pass back. We take two. Oh, and a Ghost Quarter. Fine. We stole enough for All of Dust, though. Play Vile three cards in hand. Yeah, do you just crack it now? Yeah, let's do that. Three here, two here, two here. And All of Dust. And we gain two life. Hooray. Now what shall our opponent do? Play Archon. Plunge, meh. We'll go with Gigantha. One goes in with Archon. And they pass. Stirrings, I guess so. Smash it for next turn. Opponent takes five. And please no mystic. Valley, okay. Opponent swings. They might have flicker wisp. They probably have flicker wisp. But we'll draw it out of them. Bolt. I mean, maybe we should have bolted them directly. Because we could push 12 in. But I really don't want them flickering the foreskin. Yeah, that's fine. We go to 11. And a mystic. Oof. And they grab a maul. Well, smasher. They can push 10 next turn. Yeah, let's be aggressive. They chump. And pass a pack. They play the maul. And yep, they put it on flicker wisp. This is a problem. And they're going on the offensive. Okay. I thought they would hold back to block, which probably means they have something in hand. Dang. Even if they don't have anything, though. We take lethal in the air no matter what. How unfortunate. And at one life, opponent takes the win. Why are we drawing so many bad things? Oh my gosh, look at this. Lots of duds. Well, if I bolted them directly instead, we might have actually won. But who knows? At least we had a good run. 3-2 overall. So the deck worked. But I was a little underwhelmed by plunge. A lot of times it's just stuck in our hand and we weren't doing anything with it. So maybe we just need more payoffs for the deck. All of us performed pretty well. And I wouldn't mind having a second one. So maybe we cut some blisters and a few other little things and come back stronger in the next version. Let me know if you have any suggestions for the deck. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that video. But for now, that is all. And as always, I hope you have a great day.